everybody so welcome back to another vlog anyway so it's currently 16:26, and I'm kind of starting off this vlog a little bit late in the afternoon also it is a it is Wednesday the 8th of October at the moment and I'm about to continue watching eight simple rules season one episode eight by the book and also I have my handy dandy water right here I actually filled it up with ice blocks but the ice blocks absorbed in the water um, so that's why it just looks like I played water in here. But I did have icebox in here, guys. And now my water is all cold and refreshing. And that's what I love about it. Oh, my gosh. I just love putting ice blocks in my drink because, like, little ice cubes. I just love putting ice cubes in my drink because they are just so amazing. Not big ice blocks, just ice cubes. And also, I'm about to enjoy a chocolate chip muffin. Yummy. I had one of these earlier, and honestly, these are so amazing. I picked these up at New World. They were so, so nice. They came in a packet of eight. So that is very, very awesome. Indeed, 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 indeed. Indeed, indeed. And I. Uh, so I decided, why not I vlog for you all? Also, tonight is actually going to be something very awesome. It is going to be a. I'm going to show you guys proof because I like showing that to you guys I like showing you all lovely's proof TV one okay so I'm just waiting for it to load okay now Okay, so tonight is actually going to be a rare blood moon, total lunar eclipse, visible in New Zealand tonight. I'm pretty sure it will be visible from other parts of the world, but it's visible in New Zealand. Oh my gosh, I'm so, so excited. So there was, apparently there was a blood moon earlier this year, um, in, in April, and tonight is actually going to be a, another total lunar eclipse. So the maximum eclipse will occur at 11.55 when the moon is high in the sky. So that means if you have buildings or trees in the way, it won't affect you with seeing the moon because it will be high up in the sky. And you will still be able to see it if buildings are in your way and stuff like that. That's what I've heard. So I'm so excited. Um, it's oh, awesome. Um, and I'm so, so excited for the blood moon. And the thing is, I normally go to bed at around 11. I'll be way in bed by 11, I'm pretty sure. Well, normally 11.30ish. But 11.55, I'm definitely going to be awake. And I'm going to vlog it for you all. So I'm hoping you guys enjoy it. I'm sorry if the camera doesn't pick up any of the moon. But it's proof. It's going to be a red moon tonight. So I'm just telling you now. Um... Um, so eclipse actually requires 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 some glasses. I'm pretty sure. Yep, yeah. I'm pretty sure it's positive. Yeah, I think it does need to be seen from. Yeah, I'm what, uh, apparently so excited and I'm going to probably vlog it for you all so you guys will probably get like a little sneak glimpse of the lunar eclipse. And if you live in Australia, I'm pretty sure you can view it as well. I'm very happy today, I don't know why. Yeah, everybody, so update since I last talked to you. I'm currently rocking the Taylor Swift top at the moment. This top is actually two years old. I remember I purchased this in 2012 when Taylor Swift had the Speak Now concert before she came out with the album Red. Anyway, so I'm about to show you guys three new books that I got today from the op shop. Yes, my mom and I went to the op shop and we looked around and then I found these books which were one dollar each and I'm like, whoa. So I ended up getting three new books so that gave me to a total cost of three dollars. So I'm so pumped to show you guys new books I got because you guys know me. I am a biggest, I like one of the biggest bookworms ever. I love books so much. And you guys know whenever I do a whole video on my main channel, GGG, and the link inside the description box down below, you guys know that I can never do a whole video. Well, when I do, when I do do, I was supposed to say when I do do, when I present to you guys a whole video, you guys know that it's never complete without showing 
one single book to you all you know it's I am obsessed with books I'm not going to deny it. I love books I love buying them I love reading them I don't preferably enjoy going to the library and reading books there because I like to I like to buy books and just have them like feel like it's my own book you know I don't like reading um articles and books online because I like the touch of paper you know I'd rather prefer to read it in the newspaper or have an actual book of it you know leave a comment below and tell me if any of you lovely people out there are a bookworm so I'm about to show you guys three new books so when I show you guys my draw of how many books I have you may think shazam but prepare be prepared guys okay so here is my entire draw of books right here I am obsessed um so the first book I got was so the first book I got was the lake of the dead by Studeval it's actually a pretty good book I actually finished reading this about two minutes ago. The another, and the, the, another book I got was Carl M. Tasman Circle of Silence book. And I'm so pumped and so excited to read this. These were all from the op shop, guys. You can buy really good books at the op shop. I was really surprised. And then the book I'm just about to read is called The Lab, the Lab by Jack Heath. And this was originally going to be $20 at... Um, where Coles, but it was one dollar. So holla, I saved nineteen dollars. I saved nineteen dollars. So that was actually pretty cool. And I'm so pumped to read the lab. It's about an illegal genetic, um, scientific theory, uh, stuff like that. Um, yeah, I'm into those kind of books. Anyway, so those are all of my books, and this only consists of Kathy Reich, um, Death Hunt, Hunger Games, um. John Green, other books like that, another Studeval book, um, some big books and everything like that, but that just isn't complete. Down here I have a whole bunch of other books like um, the big book of facts and things like that. Here are more like my big picture books if you know what I mean, and here are kind of like my small chapter books, but the thing is I had to literally squeeze in and try to fit in as many... I had to try to fit in three books and it couldn't really fit. So yeah, when this when I buy if I buy new books and it doesn't fit in here, then the other alternative is to put it in here. Here's actually all my Japanese stuff with a random shuttlecock that I know I use for badminton, but here is actually all my Japanese stuff that I got from Mitsuki, but I can easily put that um, and display it in my room and everything like that. So my hair. But I see some of these stuff, that painting right there is actually from Mitsuki. And I had that display as well as that area right there next to the photo right there I got some photo okay so this is from Natsuki and so is this so I just displayed some of the items from Natsuki so I have displayed some items from Natsuki so thank you Natsuki if you're watching this anyway so I'm so excited to read the lab and you guys know me when I read a book it's like a world here. like some people may have a passion of shopping um but i i find shopping okay but the thing is some people when they buy new shoes or something may be so happy and books make me happy books always make me happy books are one of the things that make me happy and i just love books i love reading them and i love buying them and everything hashtag tea swizzles well hello everybody me house so update since i last talked to you i'm in my pajamas at the moment my hair is soaking wet because i just had a shower also i apologize if it looks like i'm crying i'm actually not i just have shampoo in my eye and i hate that feeling where you get shampoo in your eye because ugh, i just don't like it and it's kind of stinging but it's more on this like part of your eye like right here so yeah but don't worry i'll go away soon hopefully it's not like a severe pain it's kind of you know, it's like when you blink. So, yeah, but don't worry, I'll go away soon or I'll just wash it out with water. Anyway, so what is the time? I think it's around maybe 9.30, nearly 10 o'clock. It is currently 9.48 at the moment. And nothing much has really been happening with me. I've been chilling like a little, you know, sass. I don't know why I just said sass. Anyways, so I've continued reading The Lab by Jack Heat? No, not heat. Heath? 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 Yeah. Heath? Anyways, I'm sorry for the mispronunciation of his last name, but it's spelled H E A T H. How would you pronounce that? Heath? 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 
here. I'm not sure. But anyways, it's actually a really good book so far. And I'm so happy that I saw it at the op shop. But it just goes to show that even at op shops, you can still find very good books. Anyway, so I'm on iTunes at the moment because I always am on iTunes, you know. And I was listening to some One Direction. I don't know. I had those days where I just want to have a One Direction Bam out, jam out, song, marathon, you know? Yeah. So, nothing much has really been happening. I found some new words that didn't understand, so I just wrote them up right there. Do you see? Oh, right there. Woo! The thing is, my writing may not look like the best. Okay, so my handwriting right here, this one I'm trying to say, it may not look like the neatest handwriting. It's because I am with Canon, and also my hand hurts more than other people when I write because I am left-handed and I'll write for maybe five minutes maybe two minutes and after that my hand will get start getting sore and I probably won't even have to write for like I'll have to have like a four to five minute break until I can write again yeah it's, and it's on my left hand so <laughs> I'm not sure leave a comment below and tell me if any of you lovely viewers out there had that as well my hair is literally wet so I'm wearing my once who, not whoops, who's your daddy t-shirt and I'm wearing not my smurf pants but my monkey pants and surprise I'm not wearing my red thermal socks as I always am wearing or my fuzzy coat that's because that's what I always wear anyway so tonight is the blood moon and I'm actually going to do I'm actually going to have this title of this video the time I saw a blood moon or I saw a blood moon with this face I mean, like the photo of a red blood moon. I'm going to make that thumbnail. The thing is, I always plan out my thumbnails before I upload the video. In case, in worst case, I have to choose a thumbnail that they offer. Normally, it's the most terrible thumbnails. You know, it'll be a thumbnail of me season. Like, <laughs> to move all the footage that I got from today onto my laptop so I have more space to film because currently I can only go to eight minutes. Show your little swig. Yeah, yeah I can only go to eight minutes and 27 seconds. Mostly eight minutes and 30 seconds. So, yeah, anyways, I'm going to probably see you guys once the blood moon is out. So far, there has been nothing in the sky. The sky is all black. So, I will probably see you guys very soon once the blood moon is out. Not a couple of hours, maybe a couple of hours to go. Maybe approximately one hour and eight minutes. Woo! Okay, so hi guys. Um... I know kind of coming from a weird location but I don't know if you'll be able to see that little speck but it's kind of hard to see at the moment but I keep on saying but <laughs> it is currently about to go orange well it's already starting to get orange that is so cool you left my heart up when the rest of me